So that's the stuff for all you guys that none of you were really necessarily rumored to be traded. Did any of you foresee this or did this catch you by surprise? How did you react? Um, well, I think I was pretty much, uh, I was pretty much, you know, looking, I was going to get traded like the last week. Um, I think these two guys were kind of surprised and I was surprised that they were getting traded as well. But, um, you know, with the world we live in now and how everybody reports things, we actually found out, we had a good idea after the game in Baltimore as we were heading up to Philly. And then, uh, you know, then we were told the next day in the office. Yeah, no, I was I was pretty surprised. I think Louis probably was too. Uh, I, I, I wasn't expecting it, but uh, I guess after it's all said and done, it was a uh, a good surprise, I guess. So uh, I'm excited. Yeah, it was pretty surprised. I mean, uh, I never see this one coming. Especially, I, I don't have Twitter anymore, so I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, like I would say, it's a, it was a really good surprise for being here in this team. We'll start with you again, just the thought of joining this organization and you know how you guys feel you're going to fit into this mix and what conversations have they had for you with you guys? Um, well, I think the purpose of uh, Louie and I was obviously to help strengthen the back end of the bullpen. And uh, you know, every team that wants to play in October and win games in October, I mean, that's 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 the key factor is getting those big outs at the end of the game. And um, I think that's, I mean, it's no brainer, that's why we're here and that's what we're willing to do. And I'll probably just plug into a decent rotation, I think. <laughs> um, but I, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, uh, I was hoping that this would be the final stop for me after all, all the stuff that's kind of gone on in, uh, in the last 48 hours. So I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to, to be part of the rotation and to, to learn from uh, a couple of the best uh, on the planet. So I'm excited. Alex, you had mentioned the rotation. Just your thought about now working alongside Clayton and Zach? I mean, I don't think it really gets any better than that, you know? I mean, um, especially Kershaw. I mean, he's, he's one that, uh, uh, if you're going to watch somebody, that's that's who you watch, just uh, how he pitches, the way he goes about his business, the competitive he is. Uh, uh, he's really fun to watch, and I'm, I feel really lucky that I uh, get to see that person personal every fifth day, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Alex, there, there were rumors that they were going to maybe trade, you know, trade for you and then trade you somewhere else for another piece. Did you follow all that and how that make you feel? And did you think of just staying at the airport when you landed here? Well, how, how was that? Uh, no. Well, at first, today, today, no. I, I, I knew everything was was all was all good in, in, in terms of all that. Some of the stuff that started coming out today, you know, before uh, when I initially found out that my my name was out there and they were. They, there could be a chance that I was traded, would be traded. That's when, uh, obviously, the, uh, I'd heard the speculation and, and things along that. And then, um, uh, one way or the other, we, we ended up getting a getting a uh, solid word that uh, that that wasn't probably going to be the case. Uh, and so, uh, I was excited. I mean, if, they, if there was one team that I that I would want to go play for, it, it was here. I, I had lunch with my agent the other week and uh, told him if there was a team I'd ever want to go play in free agency, it would be. Los Angeles Dodgers, so uh, it's funny how things work out, and uh, I'm excited. Why, why is that? You're not from here. I just, I just, I mean, ever since I, the first, the first time, uh, my first road uh, appearance uh, in the big leagues was here, and then obviously the we came here in the, in the playoffs in 2013. And so, you know, I, I just love here the, the atmosphere, the fans, you know, the team, everything. I just, I just like it. They it told you when you pitch. Uh, Tuesday is the plan. How difficult is this week, the trade deadline week leading up to today, knowing that your life, your personal lives, your professional lives are kind of hanging in the balance until you have a definitive answer and join a new club? Well, my situation is a little bit different than theirs because, you know, mine was kind of expected, but um, I have a wife, I have kids, kids that have to go to school. So uh, that's the part of it that, you know, is kind of disappointing. My daughter was actually, she took it the worst out of, out of everybody in the family. My son, he really didn't care. He's like, I get a new uniform. <laughs> uh, but my daughter, she realized, you know, she wasn't going to be able to see some of her friends that she made on the team. And, but, you know, she gets, she gets something new from me, from Dodger Town, for sure. And, um, you know, she'll make new friends when she gets a chance to meet them. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's one of those things that people don't really see too often of what goes on, you know, the packing up, the moving, uh, flying across country. And, um, but, it, you know, 
all that craziness when we get here to the ballpark, that's actually like the stress reliever as we come here and we can play and obviously get to play for a good team and we're a good, uh, good organization. Alex, um, you talked about maybe wanting to learn from Kershaw and Grinke. Are there any specific things in general you're trying to work on with yourself to improve? Uh, I mean, they're, him, and, him and Grinke and some of the other guys are probably going to hate me because um, I'm probably going to ask them a million, million questions. I mean, this game especially, there's, you can always be learning. There's, there's always new things you can pick up uh, to better yourself on the mental side, physical side, all, all that good stuff. So uh, just from that standpoint, I mean, uh, I'm really, really excited about that. To learn from both those guys, uh, they've obviously figured something out, <laughs> uh, and, and so it'll be good to pick their brains. Uh, it's almost like a fresh start. I feel like I'm back in my first big league camp uh, in spring training when I when I, when I came in with the Braves and, and got to be around all those old guys and Tim Hudson and Paul Mahomes, some of those other guys that've been around for a while, and picking their brains. So it's, it's exciting from that standpoint. What's it for you? What was it like to kind of go through this, like in this day and age of social media and stuff? I'm sure you guys saw what happened with the Mets, where you know, that Flores kid was out there. He thought he got traded. It turns out it was, you know, um, obviously there's information out there that's accurate, some of it's not. What's it just kind of like to go through this whole process and have to deal with stuff that kind of pops up here and there? Well, this is my first time going through it. So I mean, it was we were actually sitting in the dugout in Baltimore, in, no, in uh, yeah, Baltimore, and. Shelby Miller came out and said, he said, hey, uh, you saw on Twitter your name's being floated around about trades, and I, I didn't even believe him at first. I didn't believe him at first, and then uh, one of our other teammates, Chris Johnson, came out and was like, no, seriously, you should go in there and, and see what's going on. So I, I, I went inside and uh, obviously spoke to my agent and, and saw that something could be could be going down. So it was, uh, it was a pretty big shot for me. Uh, you know, uh, I was fortunate enough to, to go to school in Georgia and stay in Atlanta. Uh, which is not far from there, my home, where I grew up in Charlotte, three hours away, all my best friends are in Atlanta. So it, it was, from that aspect, it was tough, but uh, uh, now that everything is kind of coming, simmering down, you know, it's uh, it's an exciting time, and uh, we get a chance to make a deep run in the playoffs, and hopefully all three of us will, will be a big part of that. What well, were you told officially that this thing was good, like that this was actually going to be like? Yesterday. Yesterday, Philly. Yeah, yeah, yesterday afternoon, Philly. So you've been up to that point, are you kind of uncertain still of where did it kind of feel like you guys were in limbo? I mean, or do you kind of sense this is probably going to go through? I thought after the first night that when it didn't get done, I guess that would be Wednesday, Wednesday night, when it first saw everything came out. Uh, I just thought it was a matter of time. I, I thought it was going to happen. I didn't think all the people that get in contact with you on know, things you see, uh, when, it's, when it's that much stuff, I, th I thought that it was pretty much a, a done deal uh, that night. Um, about, you know. Yeah, well, you know, there's a matter of time until the trade get officially get done, you know, but, yeah. And they have Kenley Jansen here, obviously, how, how do you feel about, I assume your pitch, you know, he's been in at this point, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, to start the season, um, obviously, um, I was pitching the ninth inning because of necessity um, in Atlanta with the way things started and finished, and uh, you know that's fine. I mean, obviously they got they got some qualified guys to pitch at the back end of the game, and obviously Kenley's been one of the one of the best in the game for a while. And uh, you know, I'm not here to do anything except you know help you know pull the rope in the same direction as everybody else. So um, you know, the bullpen I've always referred to the bullpen as a team within a team. You know, and you know, if we do our part together. It's a, it's a, it's a whole group together, and uh, so I, I take pride in you know, if, if he gets a save, that's that's one in my book too. So um, we're all in it together. For both relievers, the the, bull, the bullpen's been taxed a lot throughout the course of this year, and they really could use some fresh arms. What, what does it mean to you guys to come here, just knowing that necessity of your role and how much you guys can be relied on? I would think he's leading the league. Yeah, I was going to say. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's French. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've, been, we've been in a lot of games. Sure. You know? No, I, I, I understand that. But I mean, just coming here knowing how yeah. important you are to a team looking to make that type of push. Well, to be to be in a game just to be in a game or to be in a game in a good situation is, yeah. is completely different. And that's what this opportunity is going to afford to us. Is, you know, we're going to be in, obviously, yeah. the, the key points of a game. And that's 
that's that's that's what every reliever strives for. Right. Um, I didn't mean it like it hadn't uh, happened before. I meant no, we're I just. Well, you know, he's got like 90 appearances. I got like 70, so we call it shake and bake. <laughs> <laughs> just get us up at the same time. Yeah. Couple more. What what numbers are you wearing? Uh, 54, because 53 was taken. <laughs> by a certain, yeah. Uh, 43. Uh, 57. 